What's up guys, Slaughter Fits back here with another video and this time I have another Skyrim build. This build is a mystic. I think of a mystic as kind of like a, uh, you know, kind of like mystical, kind of woodland, wizardy guy. Kind of a, maybe a little bit more kind of connected to nature. And uh, I don't know, it's just a fantasy class. You can comment down below what you think a mystic is. But this outfit kind of uh, screamed mystic to me. Um, and this guy, I'm now realizing, kind of looks like a young Santa. But, uh, so yeah, so basically this build is just like another kind of wizard-like build. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. This guy is a wizard, so he doesn't use any uh, weapons, just spells. So I have, this guy's kind of maxed out with the magic stuff. I have dragon skin, or that's just uh, the Breton ability. I have uh, ebony flesh, uh, you know, to uh, give myself mage armor, invisibility to sneak around, uh, grand healing to heal myself, and then elemental blast and wall of storms to, you know, use against my enemies. And then for apparel, I have Saturalia clothes. So I looked it up. And it came up with that it's like a Breton holiday. So, I don't know. If you know what this is, like, in the lore, uh, comment it down below. But I just... I'm going with that it's something Breton-related. So, I made my guy a Breton. Um, but, yeah, let's start at the top here. Gold jeweled necklace. I enchanted it so my health regenerates 35% faster and destruction spells cost 28% less to cast. Gold Sapphire Ring, I enchanted so Magicka regenerates 70% faster, health regenerates 35% faster. Mage Backpack, uh, this comes with an enchantment. Uh, this is uh, some Creation Club content. Uh, also, this Saturalia is also Creation Club content. But uh, Karen Capacity is increased by 75 points, increases your Magicka by 20 points. Saturalia Boots, uh, Stamina Regenerates 35% Faster, Wearer is Muffled and Moves Silently. Alteration Spells cost 17% less to cast, Magicka Regenerates 10% Faster, Magicka Regenerates 70% Faster. So that's, I put on, there's one enchantment that does two at the same time, and then I, but I also have the ability where I can do two, so it's kind of like three. But I, and I doubled up on the Magicka Regeneration. Uh, Ceteralia Gloves, sneaking is 45% better, increases your uh, Magicka by 70 points. And finally, the hat, uh, ma Magicka regenerates 70% faster, destruction spells cost 28% less to cast. For alteration, you're going to want to get Novice all the way through Expert, so you can do Ebony Flesh. Get Atronox, you absorb 30% of spells that hit you. Uh, dual casting, you know, makes spells better, of course. Magic resistance, 3, blocks 30% of spells effects. Mage armor, 3, uh, it triples the effect of, you know, ebony flesh. So I think normally ebony flesh would only be like 100 points, but then it's 300 with that. Stability alteration spells have a greater duration. Okay, damn near maxed out restoration. Uh, novice all the way through expert to do grand healing. Uh, dual casting, rec god damn. Recovery 2, uh, so your Magicka regenerates 50% faster. Um, this is just like, if you're doing any type of mage, even if you're not like putting a lot into restoration, like this is a must have. Avoid death once a day. If you fall below 10% health, you get healed 250 points. Uh, regeneration, healing spells, cure 50% more. Necromage, oh, I think that was an accident, but you know, I guess it, I, if I ever want to hit undead with a spell, you know, this is better, I guess. <laughs> um, respite, healing spells also restore stamina. This does not play that much into this build, because I'm not swinging, you know, any sort of weapon, but for running around, you know, I guess I'm going stealth, so running around and stuff might be good. For destruction, get novice all the way through expert. And then disintegrate and augmented shock too. So shock spells do 50% more damage. You might be, I f maybe if you get all three, it will help with the the elemental even more. I just did this because I'm doing the shock wall or I mean wall of storms. And then dual casting and impact. Um, in case I want to you know focus on just one of the two spells. 
And then finally, illusion, uh, novice, all the way through expert, so you can do uh, uh, invisibility. Animage and kindred mage, you have to get just so you can get quiet casting, so you can just keep casting invisibility without tripping people off. And then if you really want to uh, make this build, you know, even better, I would max out stealth so you can, you know, super sneak around. But I just thought I already have, like, all the magic stuff to make this dude a stealth master as well. It's just super over the top. So uh, I didn't do that. But if you want to augment kind of the, uh, the invisibility and make it the best it can be. So yeah, I think this build is pretty good. It looks, in my opinion, really good. Like, this is one of my favorite looking outfits, especially paired with this backpack. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and actually fight. All right, guys, so we're here at Karthspire Camp. Um, let me go invisible. Sorry, my cat is, like, losing her mind in the background, so if you hear something, it is probably that. Uh, is this invisible? Okay, yeah. Wait, hold on. <laughs> hey! I'm getting out of here. Where are you? Huh? Okay, who do I wanna I think I wanna go off on this lady right here? Can't hide from me. Oh, oh, damn. Okay, maybe. Okay, we're gonna do out. elemental blast and grand healing. It's hard to remember to hold down one and shoot the other. Bastard. And these dudes are kind of eating this. You won't get the best of me. I was, not, I was not really expecting them to just be able to eat all these elemental blasts. Fuck you. Oh, she's done. She's done. She's done. What, y'all want some too? Oh, I need to heal up. I'm in animation territory. Bro, back up. Oh, damn. He's on my ass. Oh, I'm one tapping him. Nice and easy. That's how we do it. You ready to meet your maker? You ready to meet her scene, my boy? Where is he? You dug your own grave. All right. Who was shooting that ice at me? So you know what? First, let me do this. Let me hit him with this. You can't hide from me. Over here. You can't hide from me. Huh? Oh, this lady has some health on her. Oh, 
Oh my god, fuck that lady. Alright, I gotta kill this archer first. God, these pillagers can eat so many of these shots. Hold on. I can take you. Uh, that is that your best? Yeah, this is not really doing much against her. Um, okay, I think elemental blast and grand healing is a better combo. I fell down. Damn. Oh, fuck this high grade. I lit that fucking hag raven up. Now I'm lighting this bitch up. Oh, you're fucking sick. Now you'll pay. Yeah, fucking right. Damn you. See, this is this trick, guys. You gotta just keep moving against these motherfuckers. If there's something I've learned from doing testing builds here against these magic fools, you just gotta keep moving. Because they do not know what to do if you just keep moving. Alright. And this guy does not have much health. Alright, I'm gonna test this build somewhere else, and then I'm gonna call this a day. Okay, guys. So... If uh, my calculations are correct, Boethia Cultist should be approaching me very soon. And I think I'll fight him and then I'll call it a day for this video. He, uh, long story short, I just fought him and died. Uh, he too tapped me, so this is going to be a more of a careful kind of hang back type fight um he kind of just appeared somewhere around here all right guys uh we are going to be testing it out on a giant instead oops wrong button <laughs> okay he is kind of eating these Oh, his mammoth is on my ass. Oh, this fool is on my ass. Oh, Boethia Cult is, is fighting those motherfuckers. Whoa. Damn. 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 This is bad. Run, fool. Run! Oh my god. I think the giant can probably one tap me, if I'm being honest. Oh, I need to do ebony flesh. I'm tripping. Whatever <laughs> protection I can have, I need it. Oh, this giant's almost done. Yeah, I think the Boethia cult just laid it on him. Pause. Oh, yep, and this mammoth is down, too. See ya, buddy. 
All right, so that's going to do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think of this build down below in the comments. I think it looked really cool, but it's kind of a meh wizard build, to be honest. Um, I mean, I just think wizard stuff in Skyrim isn't the best. But I think it's fun, honestly. I like doing wizard playthroughs, so I'd suggest doing uh, you know, this outfit. It's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, and uh, peace.